بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In this lesson I will cover the basic functions of Microsoft Excel which are mainly some count average min max standard deviation using sum if and using count if which looks like sum if and using sum if s so let us start with the basic function in Microsoft Excel there is a new library of functions you can easily use these functions to perform a lot of calculations without the need to make some special effort or go into any complex steps the basic functions mainly are sum and count how many cells average the average of cells mean the lowest value max the highest value and standard the future when you want to apply any function in Microsoft Excel you must start with equal sign so don't forget before starting any kind of formula you must click equal sign otherwise it will be treated as a text or something else or number equals then you put the formula name as you see it is coming here the same name sum so equals sum s u m open brackets then you highlight all cells then you click enter so this is the total of cells 300,828 is the total of seven okay then count count means how many cells equals c o u n t count open bracket highlight all cells click enter mean sorry the average means the statistical average equals average open bracket highlight all cells click enter so the average is 11,001 then come to the mean mean means the lowest value equals mean open bracket highlight all cells click enter max the highest value equals max open bracket highlight all cells standard deviation equals stdav open bracket highlight all cells These functions, as you see, are so basic. There is no any exception here. As you see, sum means total of all cells. Count how many all cells. We have 28 cells. If you come to count from here to here, you will find that they are 28 cells. Average, this is the average of all these cells. Mean, the lowest value. Look. The lowest salary here is 8,220 and the highest value or the highest salary is 14,933 and this is the standard deviation of the salary as well. So what if you want to make some exception? means that if you look at number two apply sum if to the salary if if what if the salary is greater than ten thousand now we simply have to get the total of salary but not the total of all sales as we did in sum no we are here going to get the total of all sales if the cell is greater than 10,000 so we are going to use sum if so the function is equals sum if open bracket you first highlight all cells the same way of sum then you click you type comma then now you have to insert the criteria the criteria has to be enclosed between two quotation marks why because the criteria which is greater than 10,000 this is the criteria 
this criteria is treated as a text for Microsoft Excel it cannot be inserted without quotation marks it will not give you a correct result in that case so now you type double quotation marks then you put the criteria greater than 10,000 then you simply close the quotation marks again and click enter so we got the total of cells if what if the cell is greater than 10,000 then let us come to count if count if is the same in number three apply count if to the salary if what if the salary is greater than or equal to 11,000 so you put the cursor here and you click equals count if open bracket you highlight all cells comma then between two quotation marks you put the criteria greater than 11,000 then close the quotation marks then you click enter so it gives you 12 it means simply that there are 12 cells for the salary greater than 11,000 this is the meaning of count if so now I have talked about sum and sum if and count if so what about sum if s look about the question number four apply sum if s to the salary if what the rank equals one so look at the table now we have the salary column as you see but the question is not to apply sum if s and get the result if the salary is so and so no the criteria here is not in the salary column as you see yourself it is if the rank equals one so the criteria is in different column so once you get the criteria in different column you simply have to use sum if s which is allowing you to get the total of cells for example total of salary if if what if there is some criteria in the rank column not in the salary column so in sum if s we are going to use the same way of sum if but we will add the highlight of two columns instead of only one column so look at this how to do this equals sum if s open bracket now sum if s we want the total of what of salary you simply highlight all salary column comma now you see the criteria is if the rank equals one so we have to highlight the whole rank column so in sum if s you highlight two columns okay first you highlight what do you want to get as a total then comma then you highlight the criteria column then comma now you will type the criteria now see the criteria criteria equals one if i ask you is this criteria text or number you have to say that this criteria is a number it's not a text so if the criteria is just a number it's not greater than or equal to just a number then you simply put the number as it is there is no quotation marks so the criteria is number one so you simply put number one then you click enter now this result means that if the rank is number one you see the salary is what this is the total of salary once the rank is number one it means simply that it is only adding this to 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 get this result so this result will be calculated only if the rank is number one now look at the screen say that i came to to this rank which is number three and i changed it to number two so now i type number two instead of one now look at the result it's not changed but if i get if i went back to the same cell and changed it from number two to number one now look at the result it will change why because now 
simply it is in the same criteria range the criteria is number one so once the line to change it to number one the salary will be added to the total because it's now included as a result of some fs fine now look, look at number five apply some fs to the salary if what if the rank is equals one and two ah so now we got to some complicated formula little complicated why because we have to apply some fs to the salary and this will only be applied to one and two at the same time if you try to put one beside two it will not work it will give you a wrong result so what to do we have to find somehow to insert the criteria of one and two at one time if you look at one and two you see that one is a number and two is a number right so what do you can do if you want to tell the computer that take all results of one and two at one time you can simply say that the criteria is less than three so this is what you have to do in that scenario the criteria is what less than three because less than three will take everything below three so let us try in the next sum if s equals sum if s open bracket now you highlight all salary column comma you highlight all rank and note that the highlight has to be equal see this against this don't try to make some highlight here for example to the whole then you come to the rank and make a part of it highlighted this is wrong it must be equal as you see now then comma now the criteria becomes what less than three then we simply put it between two quotation marks again less than three then you click enter so this is the result of what sum if s if the rank is one and two at the same time so come to number six apply sum if s to the salary if what if the city equals dubai so now the criteria is in the city fine so we are going to apply the same steps equals sum if s open bracket highlight all salary comma highlight all city comma now either you type to buy between two quotation marks as you see here or you simply click on any cell contains dubai because in that time the computer will take the contents of this cell when you click enter so this is the solution of city equals to buy the last one apply some fs to the salary if salary if sales jan is greater than 25000 and sales fill greater than 28000 and sales may greater than 33000 so now we are getting more than one criteria range all what we do we are going to repeat the same steps but we simply will highlight more than one criteria range so equals sum if s open bracket you highlight the whole salary column first the same way comma now what is the first criteria if sales jan greater than 25,000 fine so you go to sales jan and comma then you put the criteria between two quotation marks greater than 25,000 then you close the quotation marks so it's done this is the first criteria comma what is the second one the second one is sales fib greater than 28,000 right then you simply highlight the whole sales fib comma then you put the criteria between two quotation marks again equals sorry greater than 
28,000 close quotation marks comma so you have entered the first criteria and the second criteria now the last criteria is sales may greater than 33,000 right so the same way after the comma we highlight sales may the whole column then comma then we put the criteria greater than 33,000 between two quotation marks and that's it it's very simple then you click enter so it's done this is the result now if if what for the salary if the sales february is greater than 25,000 at the same time sales february greater than 28,000 and also sales may is what greater than 33,000 thank you السلام عليكم ورحمة الله